Hi, I'm Alex from National. I'm here with the DP83640 Precision Fighter. Let me show you how it works. Now the DP83640 Precision Fighter is an Ethernet Phi. So what we have and what we're demonstrating here is a, basically a representation of an industrial factory automation network. In a modern factory automation network, time synchronization is very important. This demonstration represents two different nodes on that network. In this case, we have on the right-hand side a node that's acting as the uh, IEEE 1588 PTP master. So this is the time source for this node. And it's actually coming through. Here is the uh, DP83640. It's the chip in the middle. And it, the time synchronization information is going out the RJ45 into an Ethernet cable. And the Ethernet cable is going around. So we'll take it around to our DP83640 slave around here on this side. Now, what we're showing is a straight a line, a single connection, but of course this can go through any number of switches or hubs uh, to represent a standard factory automation Ethernet network. Now over here, to talk a little bit more about how this actually works, this is the DP83640 chip on the IEEE 1588 slave. Now this chip is actually acting both as a standard Ethernet PHY and also as a very sophisticated IEEE 1588 time component. So what it's doing, there's two things that really are key. First is that from the standpoint of the hardware, it looks exactly like a PHY. So you can easily, easily add this into your existing systems as if it was just a standard PHY with standard PHY connections, say an RMII or MII interface to the Mac and the standard connection to an RJ45 that you see over here. Now what happens with the IEEE 1588 is that there are particular time critical actions that happen right here at the edge, right at the, where the wire comes into the system. So this is where we do the time stamping of all the packets and that really determines the accuracy and it was one of the very strong benefits of this, uh, uh, this approach. So what happens is that the IEEE 1588 packets are time stamped right at this node and then they go through, they're, they're sent through here to the Mac now in this case, because of the demo system, we've got an FPGA that's acting as a Mac, but all of the 1588 components are happening in the PHY itself. And then that data is sent up to a software stack. So now I'm going to take you to the results over here on the screen on my right. So if you follow me over here, here we see the synchronization results of a, uh, uh, between the master node and the slave node. So the green results are the instantaneous synchronization offsets between the master and the slave. The red is the average, and in this case the average is about 550 picoseconds, so very close synchronization between the master and the slave. But really the key metric when you're looking at time synchronization in networks is the one sigma standard deviation. That's represented by these two blue lines. And if you see up here in the results, right now what we're seeing is 3.85 nanoseconds. That's a very high level of synchronization that's necessary for uh, motor control, robotics, and other factory automation, auto, uh, factory automation applications. So let me go down to the oscilloscope and show you what this looks like. So what we've got in the oscilloscope now are the clocks coming out from two of the notes, from the master and the slave. Right now it's synchronized, so you can see that they're lined up. But let me go ahead and turn off the synchronization and then start it back up so that you can see what it looks like from the beginning. So if you hold on a second, now I'm turning off the master and the slave. And now I'll turn back on the master. And here I'm turning on the slave. So the synchronization is achieved through an exchange of packets that share time information. And then you see the slave is adjusted to match the master. And now they're back in the 3.5 nanoseconds. So here is the key feature of the IEEE 1588 uh, functionality in the DP83640 Precision Fighter. Thanks for watching, and for more information, please see our website at www.national.com/ethernet.